springtime for me is just about renewal, rebirth, and that whole idea of optimism that spring brings. So I thought what was an unbelievably optimistic uh, moment in history was the 1950s. So it's really my starting point for the whole collection. Ultimately, for Silhouette this season, the big thing for me was the idea of some volume and some movement, and the idea of focus on a waist. In modern times, there's never gonna be one hemline, so it's everything from ballet length to short, but really volume is pretty consistent. When the wind comes and it catches the breeze, what could be more feminine and great in warm weather? Color this season really, to me, was informed from, first off, of course, your garden coming to life. Think about, you know, wisteria and beautiful daffodils and lawn green, beautiful pinks, peony pinks, and then lots of indigo, because, you know, doesn't everyone dream to be by the sea or a beautiful sky? I really wanted this collection to be full of these very feminine, very tactile embellishments, beautiful embroideries, whether they're floral, whether they're plaids, but done in a very sort of simple, sporty way. So you don't feel that, you know, you have to put your special pieces in the back of your closet. And I love them worn with something as simple as a beautiful t-shirt or a great guy's shirt. When you look at iconic women through history, you know, whether it's Bardot or Lauren Hutton, all of these stylish women, it started with Katharine Hepburn, they grabbed their boyfriend's shirts. And there was something about that shirt being a bit overscale. So the idea of playing with the cuffs throughout the whole collection, whether it's cuffs that are doubled, that pop out from underneath the jacket, or a great French cuff that gives you this kind of loose, kind of languid look, I love that mixed with something very glamorous. How do you riff on the idea of a corsage um, and make it feel modern? We have some wonderful handmade leather flowers that we're using on belts, on shoes, and then it's suddenly a cashmere corsage that's built right into your sweater. I wanted everything in the collection, including the dresses that someone would wear on the red carpet, to not only have pockets, which just gives you this kind of languid easiness, but in fact, the pockets are pretty deep. I have a feeling a few women are gonna hit the red carpet with perhaps just their phone and a lipstick in the pockets and no bag and ready to go. The entire show is, is all about these wonderful ankle-wrapped flat shoes. Some of them have a tread, some of them are pancake flat, some with a closed toe, some with a sandal, but it's all about letting a woman take a stride. The hybrid handbag really is what interested me. If we were looking at a bag that felt structured and, and a little bit more polished, I love them with some hand stitching on them so you have that artisanal edge, or even in very casual material mixes. You know, it could be denim or canvas mixed with crocodile. This collection is the midway point in this decade, and now I really think we've hit the stride, so to speak, that I think people want to move I think people want easiness. I think they want versatility, but they don't want to give up glamour, they don't want to give up charm, and they certainly don't want to give up femininity and luxury.